So let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. Oh, What's hello. your name? My name is Alistair. Alistair, how old are you? I'm 36 years old. 36, okay. And what do you do? I'm a deputy sheriff. All right, okay. And what are some things you like to do for fun? Wow. I like to travel. I like to go on trips. Okay. <laughs> and now what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, someone that's intelligent, very laid back, knows what she wants, mm -hmm. can allow me to lead. Okay. And now what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers will be smokers. Mm. That's the number one thing, okay. smokers. Got it. Okay. So we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on. Wow. They reject my man just because he's a police officer. And mind you guys, those guys after a couple, after, after maybe 20, I don't know, maybe 20, 25 years, they get pension, they get free health care, they get all the benefits most women would want in a hardworking man, right? They get all the benefits that can sustain the family even after retirement, but they popped their balloons because it's a police officer. Now, the stereotype could be maybe they're controlling because, you know, the police officers have to enforce the law. But that's a respectable job, in my opinion, from a man's point of view. If I had a daughter, I wouldn't mind her dating a police officer. Now, obviously, it's a dangerous job, and they work long hours. Go on over to these ladies and see why they ended up popping, yes. okay? All right, let's start over here. If we can have your name and age. Alexis, and I'm 29. Okay. And Alexis, what do you do? I'm a realtor. Okay. Nice. Now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, he just didn't really seem like too much my type, and um, I don't know about the police, honestly. <laughs> okay, okay. But you're an attractive man, so, you know, no thank hard you, feelings. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. All right, and now, Alistair, is Alexis someone that's your type? Of course, very attractive, very beautiful. It is someone that I will approach. Okay, thank right. you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on to our next pop balloon over here. Now, obviously, everybody has preferences, right? But it's like, okay, he's a hardworking man. He's a police officer. And you say he's an attractive man, but his job is not something that <clears throat> you find you prefer, right? So it's like, it's either you want a man like him who's attractive and is a police officer and works hard, has a pension coming, health insurance and everything, or you want a man who's not as attractive, but maybe he has a different job, is a CEO or whatever. It's like, you got to pick and choose, but they want it all, man. Okay, if we can have your name and age. My name is Tiffany, and I'm 26 years old. Okay, and Tiffany, what do you do? I am an exotic dancer, but I use my money from exotic dancing to fund my business. She's a stripper. Ventures. Ooh, okay, mm -hmm. all right. And now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, first of all, he said that he don't, you know, like smokers. I'm a big smoker and I don't think you know the police and an exotic dancer would mix <laughs> <laughs> but other than that I like the way you're built you know I like the age I'm, I'm into older men mm. so okay Got it. thank you thank you and now Alistair is uh, Tiffany someone that's your type of course very beautiful very attractive so definitely thank someone you. I'll approach okay. Got it. so she's an exotic dancer police don't mix is, is that <laughs> is that something that would stop you from approaching her if you knew that? No. Okay. No, this is perfectly see. fine. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. He's trying to be nice because <clears throat> I'm sure he has seen episodes of other guys who trying to stand up for themselves and women attack them either in the comments or even on the show them so on the on the show itself, right? So most guys who are coming on are trying to be nicer to please the women, even rather than saying what they feel. But in the real world, I don't think if he was given a choice, he would choose a stripper over a woman who's not a stripper. That is the absolute truth. Now, I recommend her for being honest. And she's like, hey, listen, I'm a stripper. He's a police officer. I don't think he would pick me, which is fine. She knows herself. So that's good. And she's an attractive young lady. Thank you. Let's go on over here. Okay, if we can have your name and age. Yes. Hi, I'm C and I'm 36. Okay. And C, what do you do? I'm in medical sales. Right. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, well, I just have to give it to you. You were the first guy to come out, and I know that we can only pick one guy, so I'm just waiting. Mm. Okay. But is he someone that is your type? Um, maybe if I got to know him a little bit better, <laughs> but, you know, right now I'm just waiting. Okay. 
All right, so uh, Alistair, is she someone that is your type? A very respectable individual. Looks like you can have a great conversation, and I like that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go on to our next lady. If wow, so she rejected him simply because he was the first guy to come out, and she's hoping there are better choices of men. So not because he's not, a, he's not attractive, not because she doesn't like uh, his job, like other ladies say, because, she, because he's a police officer. She simply rejected him because she's hoping there are better men out there. who are Because she was the first in line, so they probably have like five or six guys who are going to come out to choose from, right? If we can have your name and age. My name is Nkiru, and I'm 32 years old. Okay. And what do you do? I work with a pharmaceutical company as a monitor. Okay, very nice. And now why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I don't know. He's just not my type. Like, just, I don't know. If I'm basing off of looks, he's just not my type. Okay. Yes. And what about him is not really your type? Uh, I don't really know. I just, I just don't feel a connection. Okay. Yes. Okay. And now, same thing, Alistair. Is she someone that you would approach? Uh, she's very respectable. And this is very confusing to us, man. It's like, you know, tell me, am I short? Am I, because uh, men want to, we want to know the reason. So we see if we can improve. But just saying he's not my type. At least just tell me I'm ugly. Like, just tell me, uh, you know what? I usually date more handsome men than you. That would be better rather than saying I'm not your type. What do you mean? What's your type? Like, you know, just say I'm, you don't find me attractive and that's okay. Physically attractive and that's okay. But the whole, I'm not your type. And then they ask you, what's your type? And then you keep saying, he's not my type. Like, that's confusing. Tell me I'm ugly, I'm not dressed well, or something. Like, it's confusing. Very beautiful. I believe all the women here are beautiful. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's go on to wow. our next lady over here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Danielle, and I'm 35. Okay. Danielle, what do you do? So it looks like most women have popped their balloons, meaning they don't find him attractive or they don't want to match with him. But I can guarantee you most women pop their balloons after seeing the fact that more other women have evolved to pop their balloons so if one woman is left with a balloon she's like you know what okay in the beginning i found him attractive but if all these women don't want him maybe he's not as good looking as i thought do you i work at human resources okay and why did you end up popping your balloon um honestly it's because he's the police <laughs> oh <laughs> okay so apart from him being a police officer he is someone that is your type yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily go off a of lot uh, looks per se. So if we had a conversation, maybe. Okay, but all right. He's about least. That's a lie. Every woman goes off, goes off on looks. Now, if you guys have just been friends and you're the, in the same circle, we went to the same school, you may grow on her. But initially, every human being, once they meet the other person, especially the opposite sex, they instantly know, they rank them. You're like, you know what? He's attractive. She's attractive. He's not attractive. She's not my type. He's not my type. So she, she's a lie. Like never believe when a woman says, I don't go off of looks. They absolutely go off of looks. <laughs> okay, Alistair, I know you said everyone's beautiful, but is she someone that's your type? If you saw her out, you'd approach her? Uh, yes, I will approach her. Okay, and how we see this police thing is taking you out. Like, is that ever a problem when it comes to dating? I uh, know law enforcement is a very, you know, skeptical career to be in yeah um, I respect everyone I joined this career because this was a calling for me yeah and I like what I do okay good I'm a protector so if you need someone to protect you I'm someone to protect you period <laughs> all right let's go back this way we did get a pop if we can have your name and age Caprice 32 okay and Caprice what do you do I am a certified Christian life coach okay and now why did you end up popping your balloon um, just initially, it just wasn't enough bass in your voice. Sorry. Okay. Told you. Okay. Alistair, I feel like I know what you're about to say, <laughs> but <laughs> you approach her if you see her out. Um, I'm respectable to everyone. I give everyone a chance to get to know you, sit down, have a conversation, let you know my goals in life, and I see your goals in life. And if we do match, we take it further from there. All right. Did I get everyone back here? Oh, 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 okay. We do have one more pop balloon back here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Lexi and I'm 27. Hey, Lexi, what do you do? I am a full-time biomedical science student and a birth doula. Oh, nice. Okay, and now why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, um, unlike everybody else, like the police thing didn't really bother me, mm. but like as I like kind of walked, it was like 
kind of like the haircut in the back is like not fully cut mm. and then the chap lips yeah mm. okay it's kind of a okay. thing for me wow. so yeah <laughs> got it okay I mean, at least I appreciate her for being honest. She was very observant with either his haircut or his dry lips. Guys, that's what I was saying that the, other, the lady before was lying when she said she doesn't care about looks. They look at you, everything from your haircut, your lips, your eyes, your beard. Is it shaved? Like they look at everything. They obs Women are very observant, especially when it comes to how a man is uh, presenting himself, like at the image. Alistair, <laughs> <laughs> we all already know I'm your a, lines by now. <laughs> I'm respectable to criticism. That's that's, you know, that's who I am as a person. Mm. You know, I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. You know, I'm from the Caribbean, so we're used to criticism. And but you know, you're a beautiful individual, and I'm thankful for having me out here. And you all are very beautiful. Thank you. I'm a very respectful person. Thank you. And then we did get one last one down here. All right, if we can have your name and age. Kiana, 32. And Kiana, what do you do? Um, well, I'm in the health, health field, mm -hmm. CNA, also in real estate, and I'm the supervisor at a, a shoe store. So, okay. yeah. Very nice. Very busy. <laughs> and now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, no reason. I just feel like sticking to the code. You know, I didn't have no problem with the law enforcement and whatnot but i don't know just feel like i should be sticking to a code what did i tell you guys she literally was the first one to be honest she popped her balloon because every other woman popped her balloon that's what i was telling you it's not that he's not attractive it's not like she doesn't like the job but it's more of like she's like you know what i find him attractive but if he's as attractive as i think how come every other woman in the line is popping their balloon you know what i'm not going to be the one with the leftovers pop it that's what I'm telling you. They rejected my boy just because other women rejected him. That's tough, bro. That's crazy. No. Okay. What do you mean by sticking to the code? Just, that's honestly like, you know, I just felt like everybody kind of reminded me and whatnot. So, wow. yeah, that's just life. So. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm a little confused. It reminded <laughs> you of what? <laughs> no, because, um, you know, I'm just mentioning about him being in law enforcement and um. So I just felt, although I don't see it as a problem, there's always been a history behind it. Mm. So I just would just follow that. I, see. I don't follow too many, but I'll follow that. So yeah. Uh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> so Alistair. And I never even sorry. The whole sorry, it doesn't like, man. First of all, as a man, you have to have tough skin if you're going to go to these shows, right? That's number one. But number two, to know that a woman rejected you because other women rejected you, not because of her own logic and, you know, judgment, but just because other women rejected you, no matter how good you are, that's crazy. That's crazy to me. But at least she was very honest. And her, I like her dress because I'm a sucker for a woman in a dress. So she looks really good. But man, that got her hurt, man. Her? Is she someone that you would approach if you saw her out? Yeah, I'm very respectable for every oh. individual that I meet. <laughs> I'm very respectable. Got it. Thank you. Thank All you right. for having me. Thank you. All right. Let's go on back. So, unfortunately, that is all of the balloons popped, but we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's give it up thank for them, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, guys, what do you think about that? That was crazy. My man got rejected because he's a police officer. He got rejected because his lips are dry. He got rejected because he doesn't like strippers. And then finally, he got rejected because by a woman, because other women rejected him and she was trying to be on the sister court, right? The sisterhood or the sister court, whatever the hell it is. So she rejected him because other women rejected him. That's crazy. What do you guys think? Full link down below to Arlet Amuli's channel to the full video next time. Peace.